Hello everyone, welcome to a new gameplay video on the channel and today I am featuring the Timor Monsters deck that I did a recent deck tech on so if you haven't seen it there will be a link below in the description so please go and check out so you can see the full deck tech for this amazing deck and fingers crossed it just plays just as well in the gameplay. So this is just going to be a little quick guide just so you, people that haven't seen the deck yet can just have a little look at what the deck is. Uh, we've got Lado RLs, we've got Incubation Druids in there for the bit of mana ramp. Also Incubation Incongruity is a great card, using it for the Exile. We are Timor so we're adding blue in for this great card as well. And the little top five cards is, is pretty handy as well. We've got lots of creatures, monster creatures. We've got Jade Light Rangers to help us go through a deck with the Explore Triggers. Grawl Spellbreaker, the card, when you see the deck tech, you'll see why this is in there. It's an amazing card. Rekindling Phoenix, Raptors, the big Helkite. Helkite is absolutely amazing, and I'm loving this card. And it's definitely, I underestimate this card. It's absolutely bonkers in this deck. We've got Domri Chaos in the main board. Great getting those riot triggers, getting down a big Helkite that can get the counter and then still attack with haste. Amazing for knocking down those Teferis. We've got Vivian Reed as our other Planeswalker. And then we've got some more creatures in the big daddy Tyrant. Love this big Carnage Tyrant. A Gauter. And of course, add in blue for a Hydroid Crassus. Because this Jellyfish Hydra Breeze is pretty good. I want to up this to three. Uh, I just need another Mythic card. But, you know, when I did the deck tech, it was two. And I did say in the deck tech that, you know, if you want to up it to three, please do. I probably will up it when I just get another Mythic. But it's doing a great job as a two of. Land base is there. Nice and simple. Lots of stuff you can see on the screen. Like I said, the deck tech will be below for you to go and have a proper look of how I describe this deck. But this is for gameplay. So let's get on to some games. So opening hand, we've got some Rootburn Crags. Very nice. We've got a Lanoir to lamp us out quickly. The Ranger, the Raptor, the Tyrant. That is a keep. Our opponent will be going first. And the first thing we see is a mountain. Survive the shock, please, Lanoir. Survive the shock. And it did this turn. Double red. It could be the red aggro starting off with, as it normally is when you're playing the MTG Arena. It's full of red. Why? Because it's so consistent. It's a great card. Oh, come on, get my crag in. Uh, we could go Druid here and get ready for the bigger creatures, which it might be worth doing, but we can still turn four Raptor. Mm, yeah, I'm going down with Jade Light. Could possibly play the Incubation Druid there, but I want to potentially, yes. We get a 4-3 on the field, which is nice. Start getting our big monsters on. Incubation Druid, Carnage Tyrant is the card that we do want to get onto the battlefield. Strike. Well, it's to a creature and not to the head, which is always good. Always good. Do they have a skewer? Oh, am I going to be skewered with that one other mana? Let's have a look. Yep. As if by magic. Oh, they took Malanoir. Oh, that's just darn right dirty. Darn right dirty. Right, let's play the Druid. Let's play the Incubation. Um, land. Jade Light, play another land. We get Raptor. We could play another, get a Druid. Because we want to ramp. Well, we really need to get the Carnage Tyrant down. Um, I'm going to take Incubation Druid. Past turn. Either way, we're going to get Ripjaw Raptor down next turn. Even if they do manage to kill the Druid. They can attack in. That's a free attack. But a lot of these kill spells are ready. The two here have gone to creatures. Uh, if you do full damage to you. If you decline, they draw three cards. So uh, we'll take action. We'll take four. We'll go to ten. Risky business. Ooh. No. Oh, well, okay. Um, let's play Ripjaw. No attacks. Domri is a good card to get down. Could get us into that carnage a little bit quicker. Can't really afford to go to six, so we're going to have to give them the cards off this next risk factor. We can't really afford to go to four. Uh, sorry, down to six. Take the four damage, sorry. It's a bit risky. 
And they've only got to draw two spells and kill us potentially. So we've got a nice creature, but we've got to pressure them. It's a good first match. But win ratio, in case you're worried, I'm about 50 50 playing against red. About 50 50. Which isn't bad considering how, you know, how fast the deck is. You don't, like, like I always say, you can't beat them all. There's no way you can. Um, so, what to do? We could protect. We could play this. I think we're going to play Domri. Um, add a green mana. Play Incubation Druid. Give it a counter. Make it a little bit bigger. Can't we can't really attack though. So draw a land. What have we got? Four, six. Now we've got Carnage Tyrant next turn if we even survive. Ooh, it's gonna it's gonna be very hard to survive. Yeah, two damage. Okay. Land. That's good. That's what I want to see. We've got a big Ripjaw Raptor there. They might still all attack in though. To be honest. Or well, they're holding back. Are they holding back? They're holding back. Right. Hellkite is nice. Um, oh, we, I mean, we can start knocking creatures down by playing Hellkite. Which we could do next turn. Playing the Carnage Tyrant would mean doing that. I mean, we could exile the Stinking. That is a move as well. Um, I think we're going to plus this. Add a green. Um, there you go, one. And one of these, I think. Add a green. Play Carnage Tyrant. Um, give it a plus one one counter. So it's an eight seven. And then we're gonna have to pass turn and pray, basically. That's what we're gonna have to do. We've got, I mean we've got some big attacks coming in next turn. We could potentially attack with Carnage and Scar if we need. We could do oh, it's, a, it's a tricky, it's always a tricky matchup against the red. You're always running that line of just being burnt out. It's good that they just did that. Okay. We will add the red. No. Four. Five. Play Skarg. So we give it a counter. Then we give it haste. We will play. Look at the top five. Uh, we will get a rip jaw potentially. No, we'll get a spell breaker. Now. Gives us three blockers. I think we've got to start getting a little bit aggressive. Shame that hasn't got vigilance. 13. We'll attack with just the two. Put our opponent potentially to seven, which means we can win next turn. We've still got three blockers. Um, can't play that. Don't know why I'm saying we can. Right. Fingers crossed, boys and girls, that we can take down the red. We've got three blockers. Goblin Chain Whirler. It's not going to kill any of ours, but does put us to seven. And unfortunately hits our Planeswalker as well. No damage there. Ripjaw gets us to draw a card. We've got two Spellbreakers that can come down with haste next turn. Okay. So we... Pass. Go to blocks. Block, block, block. Fingers crossed that they can't kill us in the last two spells. The last spell, can they kill us? It's been a close match. Don't have that burn. 
Ah, oh, they've got the burn. They had the burn. Well, that was a defeat. We were winning next turn. Oh, that was a close match. Very close match. We, you know, against the fastest deck in the format. We were nearly there. Nearly there. So, on to game two. Here we go. Playing Deirdre. So, opening hand. Not a great opening hand. Only two lands. No ramp at all. So, this will certainly be mulliganed. Two lands, but got an incubation. A turn three play. It's a slightly better keep. Incubation on top. So, we'll put that to there. And hope that we get more land on the way. So we can get a pretty nice aggro start. Deidre is deciding what to do. Don't think it was us to go first. I can't remember if it was us to go first or not. Either way, I'll turn play. Potentially it's going to be the Incubation. Look at the top five cards. Reveal a creature card. Hopefully get a bit of a, one of our ramp spells in there. Land of our elves or... There's a land. That's nice. Let's play that. Play Incubation. Come on. Right, what do we got? What do we got? Um, I think we get the Druid. Then we can turn to Incubation. Opponents played a Watery Grave. So all we know at the moment is that it's Dimir. And there it's Esper. Okay. Let's go down with the Incubation Druids. Which means it can, we can tap for blue with this now as well. Have one mana of any type of land you control. So we can tap for them. Could be. It's probably going to be Esper Control looking at this. Um, so. Possibly countered. Maybe an Absorb. Can they play Absorb? Yes, they can play Absorb. They have the colours. And there... On key is absorb. Okay, no attacks. So we'd love to get our Domri Chaos Bringer on the board here. Be good in this game and our Vivian if we're playing control. Tapping for black, tapping for what what are we having? Double black. Discovery, okay. Wonder if we can get the Rekindling Phoenix down. Hmm. Probably best game for Domri. Have a chance trying to get Domri. Come on. Yes, Domri's in. Plus. Red. Nothing to do with it. Pass turn. So we've got Domri on the field, but it could meet a Vraska's Contempt, obviously. Revitalize, draw cards, okay. Lots of life gain. Don't blame your opponent when you're playing this deck because you need it against all those red decks all over MCG Arena. They're absolutely everywhere. A lot of people grind with them because it's just an easy grind. When I was doing the myth, you know, trying to get up to the, the mythic, I left myself a day to do it. I only got to gold two, I think it was, um, which I left myself an afternoon from basically bronze to do it. I didn't realize the season was ending. And... Um, all right, let's give this red. Do we get a key phoenix down? And it meets another absorb. Okay. Fair enough, opponent. Just don't get your Vraska's Contempt. We want to get this to the emblem. I've never got Domri to the emblem. Come on. No Vraskas. No Vraskas. Hydroid Crassus next turn. So it is a cast trigger on that, which means we will draw the cards and gain the life. Uh, but it might not enter the field. As Esper Control runs. It is amounts of counters. It's always the way we're recording. Always the way. Oh, Kindness Tyrant seems a lot better. But will it meet? Will it meet? The dreaded Cecil the Wreckage. We'll soon see. Will it meet the dreaded Cecil the Wreckage? Fingers crossed it doesn't. Uh, 
Enter's tapped. Here we go. Come on, Tarnage. Do your stuff. No settle. No settle. Oh, we got through. No settle in hand. Opponent is now on the clock. Come on. And then they just play K as Raph. <laughs> well, they won't be playing K as Raph now because they do have an Angel of Grace there. Which is very bad, very bad for our Domri. Damn it. Damn it. Domri took a beating. How dare you. How dare you. Right, opponent then. Game, what do they play? Right, three cards in hand for opponents. They've got mana, still mana for set the wreckage. Maybe they want a little bit more value than just Carnage Tyrant. Let's hope that they're not being greedy and they just do not have it in their hand. So we can attack with a bid hydroid cra Oh my word, they did have it. Which is not bad because we will be able to go plus green. So we've added the green, we add the blue. One, two, three, four, five. So add the green, just make sure I'm just double checking this, add the blue, five. There we go. And we're going to give it haste. Let's attack in with the Crassus. Boom. And we've got another Domri in hand as well. But they do have this Archangel to bring back in case they do go to one as well, which is, you know, it's a great card, this Angel of Grace. Absolutely great card. But we can trade off for it. Ours is slightly bigger. Mortify. So much removal. So much removal. Right, here we go. It's going to keep coming. Keep coming. Have you got that settle? Showcasing the Domri. Take the tyrant takes you. Come on. We've got a chance. We've got a chance. What's opponent got? Have they got another Kayers Raph? Have they got their second Kayers? I'm only attacking him with Tyrant. I'm only attacking him with Tyrant. We're not going to give them the opportunity to get a bit of value. We don't need anything else at the moment. I mean, we could play this. Um, okay, green. I'm not coming down with haste. I'm just literally playing this. Putting a counter on it. Leaving back Domri and Gruul. End of turn. I mean, they can flash in the Angel of Grace, which is probably what they're going to have to do. Unless they draw the Wrath. Um, if they do draw the Wrath, they'll be tapping four, only leaving three mana up, so they won't be able to play the Angel of Grace, which means we'll be able to come down with a Gruul and potentially something else that we might draw. And it was enough to take down Espo Control! Yes, Domri for the win there with Carnage Tyrant. Absolutely epic win. So let's get on to game three. This is a pretty sweet hand. We've got all the colours. We've got Incubations. Nice, nice hand. Opponent's Christ the Bomb. Oh, we're going to need it. We're playing red. Second red match of the day. Tag for one. Okay. What do we got? Uh, Gouter. Mm. I mean, Gouter's going to be hard to deal with. Could we get into the Gouter? Not really. We've got the Ripjaw there. We've got a few. We've got a few. You know, we can tap for mana. Maybe Gouter. Now I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the play. We need a girly creature. Let's have something that potentially we could play. We could have Galta stuck in our hand if they got rid of the druids and the ramp. Which is what the last red deck did to us. Fanatical Fireband comes in. I light up the stage. Okay, so they're gonna to get to play a land off it. They drew two lands, which is epic for us. Um stomping ground. Let's play. Our druid. So I think they've kept a very heavy um, bolt hand. 
because they obviously didn't have the land. There's a shock. Thank you. Which is what I was worried about taking Gauss so that we wouldn't be able to ramp out quicker than we should do. But while they're using the kill spells on our creatures, they're not hitting us. So uh, let's attempt a Jade Light because we can just play Ripjaw Raptor next turn. Come on, give us the counters. And there's Mrs. Lightning. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to put that in the library. Library, because it's going to help us draw potentially more creatures. We've got a lot of that stuff in there. But they're using the kill spells against our creatures, which is okay. He says. He says. Right. Incubation. You're not going to lightning bolt that one easy enough. You're going to need two kill spells for that one. Right, I was, a, I was a little bit less aggro with the last red deck. I was a bit worried holding back, but I think, you know, opponent's got three cards in hand now. We've got to get the attack on a little bit if we can. They're playing more lands. We really don't want them to draw a Frenzy now, though. Frenzy would be bad for us because they've got all that mana. What do you do, opponent? They do not attack in. Oh, well, they do attack in. What did I have? Lava Coil? They must have Lava Coil. I don't mind taking one. We're not blocking. They must have either two kill spells or Lava Coil. Yeah, they have Wizards Lightning. Yep. Yeah. We didn't fall for that. We did not fall for that. J Light Ranger. Okay. So we will attack in. Next, I'm uh, gonna play that, play that, play Druid, and then play Jade Light Ranger. I'm glad I didn't fall for the. Come on, we need this pumped. Pump, pump, pump. Ah. Uh, okay, kill a ramp. Yeah, fine with that. Totally fine with that. I'll settle for a 4-3 and a 4-5 on the battlefield. We will settle for that. Okay. And we'll trade off straight away. No worries about that. We've got another one on top. Strange attack from our opponent there, really. Let's play another Jade Light Ranger. Yep. Lovely. Uh, enters tapped. Play an incubation. See what we got. What can we get? I think we'll take Hydroid, Hydroid Crassus. Because that seems like a game winner to me. We're in a very good position here against Mono Red. And that was enough. The Crassus would have won us the game. Pony did play a bit of a strange game there. But we take down a Mono Red. What did I say about the 50 50? Let's get some more coins. So that puts us at two and one, the opening hand. This is not too bad because it's all green. And if we can keep the Llanowar Elves alive, if we can keep the Llanowar Elves there, that'd be pretty sweet. We will keep this hand. It's a sweet hand. Yet again, we're not going first, though. Oh, that would have been nice to go first for once. So we can go Llanowar into Druidra. We can potentially get an early Carnage Tyrant down, which would be epic. Come on. Don't really want to be playing red again for the third time of the video. Blue. Oh, mono blue tempo. That's a hard match. Right. Spellbreaker's a very good draw. Come on. Come on, Lanoir. Come on to the field. It's funny, but when you're playing blue, it's always... When you're playing turn one Lanoir, it always seems returned. Opt. It always plays opt off you. They've always got that opt in hand. It's quite funny. As much as we always have Llanowar Elves, they always have opt. I've always noticed that. Right, double blue. Searcher as canter. Nice card. Right. I think we actually need to start getting aggro. Let's go. Let's start the pressure. No settle the wreckage there. So we're free to attack. Free to attack. 
Against a different deck, I might have played Incubation Druids and then gone for the Carnage Tyrant. Ooh, I wasn't expecting red. I thought it was mono blue, so a little bit different. A little bit different now. They could kill our Llanowar Elves. Which should be a bit of a bugger, should we say? No. Okay, Lava Core there. Fine. Yes, we got a good draw. Haste. All out attack. Pound down to 13. Gruul Spellbreaker is epic. Can't be killed in our turn. Brilliant card. Comes down to 3 to all potentials of 4 4. I like in these sort of matches to put it with a little bit of haste. But it's even better when you've got Domri there because you can give it haste and the counter as well, which is, is, is really good. Domri's great for this sort of deck. Okay, Stomping Ground. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm just going to go all out attack. Um, pay two life. And pray that we do this and just manage to come down for Carnage Tyrant. That is the plan of the deck. Come on. Come down for Carnage Tyrant. Win the game, GG's. Uh, the pirate does pretty bad bad damage to us. The uh, was it high, fiery cannon? Is it fiery cannonade? Two damage to all, so it would wipe up all three of these. That's um, been prevalent a little bit in decks because it's a nice early sweep of three mana. Kills a lot of obviously the mana dogs and everything like that. Uh, that would be the worst scenario, but it still leaves us with the gruel spellbreaker and, and a jade light to play. They took the two life. So what have they got? Kaya's Wrath. I am a little bit stumped. I'm sure it's going to become prevalent as soon as I see it. But I'm a little bit stumped to us what they've paid two life for. Banefire to kill that. Okay. Okay. Well, for we will go one, two, three, four, five, six. For big carnage tyrant, and we're just getting for one. So, since we've got the win on board, can we take down for our third win? Finish up three and one. That would be absolutely epic with the four games. Come on. Oh, they don't need their Teferi. They can't car target carnage tyrant. Have we got the win on board? Oh, no. That means settle. That means settle. Oh, it also means cleansing Nova. Ah, oh, cleansing Nova. The game that could have saved our opponent. All right. Well, one thing we can survive from from rafts because we have twenty nine creatures, so they don't have twenty nine rafts. So we're always gonna have a chance to have something on the battlefield to win with. Potentially. Potentially. What we really need here is Domri out, and then we can just keep attacking with haste. That would be the, you know, the win. Potentially. And there's Cleansing Nova number two. Damn you, opponent. Alright, here's an attack. It's coming with haste, because we do run. Lightning strikes. Opponents are three. Come on, they've got to deal with another creature. I love you, Spellbreaker. I love you. You've got Hexproof in my turn. I love you. Fought its way into the deck. Make sure you go and watch the deck today. And don't forget as well, hit the subscribe button if you're still here watching. I would really appreciate it. It supports the channel. And of course, hitting the like button and sharing the videos. Oh, let's got that out of the way. Oh, Teferi. Teferi. Now we could be in trouble. Now we could be in trouble. But we're only a lightning strike away from winning. Yeah, put it on top. It's going to be coming back at you. Come on, we need to pull another one. Oh, damn you. Damn you. Damn you. Don't let Teferi go off. Come on, lightning strike. So all we need is them tapped out lightning strike. 
Not asking for much. I've seen Teferi decks just last on one life for so long, and now they've got the Escanter down, they can just go through their deck. Okay. Down to two. Four cards in hand, though. And a row, right. So potentially tapped out. Yep. One in your hand, one in your graveyard. Okay. What do we draw? Land to be nice for Carnage Tyrant. Little bit harder to deal with. Obviously can still be countered though. No. What am I saying can still be countered? It can't be countered. Absolute donut. Well, Incubation Druid. If that adapts, it wins the game. <laughs> Come on. It's going to be very hard to win the game now with the Rao, is it there, and a Teferi. We really are stuff. We had a, we got them to three. But now they've got the card drawing engines going. Uh, we're going to need a little bit of luck. We've got Gruul Spellbreaker next. Lava Core kills that. Um, which means no Carnage Tyrant. Which tells you they might have a counter in hand. But maybe not. You know, if we had adapted that, maybe nothing to deal with it. But they could obviously look at the top four. Um, I'm still going to keep the faith that we can get out of this. But the chances are, you know, we're down to about 10% now. Search for Scant up. But we can only do what we can do. So, you know, they untap. Oh, it's going to be... Doesn't matter what they untap. All right, here we go. Do they have the absorb? I would probably think so. No. Okay, well, we're going to go with haste. They must have a kill spell, surely. There we go. We can attack. We can't do nothing else. Gain three life. Okay. So they didn't have anything. Oh my god. They didn't have anything. Ah, oh, jammy. Jammy. Damn it. Thought we. Yeah, we're so close then. Chemist is inside. Why have I not got my lightning strike in my hand? Ah, oh, lightning strike would have been so good. GG's it would have been. Right. Pine's got a fistful of cards. Two massive planeswalkers down there, and as Canter flipped, there's no way out of this for us, surely. But I'm not going to just quit. Okay. Do, do, do. What do you play? What do you get? Look at the top two cards. That's going to be Emblem in next turn. So then they can just do four damage to any target and draw two cards. Decking themselves maybe is a real thing. They're down to 23 cards. <laughs> Hopefully they don't run Nexus. Uh, they're a bit way off getting that to the Emblem. Unless they just play another one. But it's not going to take many interactions from Raul just to kill us with that emblem. Deafening Clarion they found. Okay. Maybe they're running out of kill spells. Possibly. Possibly. Come on, we need land to get this Carnage Tyrant on. And for them not to, well, not to have a big wrath. There's an opt. Down to 22 cards. It's getting lower. Come on, keep them coming. Right, come on, land. Yep, untap. Untap. Untap your lands. Land. Rootborn Crag. So excited I didn't get it on the field. Come on, Carnage. Can't be countered. Hexproof. They could play the Absorb. But I think they might be able to play the Absorb just to gain the life, though. I'm pretty sure they can do that. Right. 
Come on. Come on, Carnage. Take down this game. Oh, gain three life. Draw another card. Still in Carnage. Carnage territory. No targeting the Tyrant. They... I mean, you can't believe they have, won't have an answer in seven cards. You must believe they'll be able to get one, unfortunately. Have they not got the big dragon, poss possibly, to block? Okay, they get the emblem. Are they just going to chain off? No, they could chain off. I mean, look at the mana. They could chain off and just kill us in one go here. If they can't, Carnage is coming in for the win. Unless they got another revitalize. Okay, you got to untap my lens. So, no wrath, no set of the wreckage. If they pass, they've got something. Yep, you got to untap mine. Right. Here we go. Shit or bust. They haven't clicked through. <laughs> That's worrying. Ah, oh, of course they've got it. Of course they've got it. Damn it. Some decks have taken out Settle the Wreckage. Some decks have taken out Settle the Wreckage, which is what made me think they might not possibly have it. Uh, that was our chance, boys and girls. Unfortunately... It will just play out now. Teferi's going to tick all the way up. As Kanta's going to find what they need. Our only way of winning now is for them to deck. Or they can just keep looping Teferi, can't they? Put target on their permanent on his own. They can minus three. Put it down. Draw it. Potentially. Can they loop it? I don't know. I know there's a lot of stuff about looping Teferi's. I saw on Twitter today someone got banned. Apparently from admin for looping it for... And there it is. We don't have to worry about them looping nothing. 10 damage. So close, yet so far away. We end on a Teferi defeat. Oh, so today I'm keeping it four games. So I don't want the video being super, super long. But let me know about that. You know, Would you like me to do speed up gameplay so you can get more games in? Um, or you like it, uh, I did a tweet, um, a Twitter poll, sorry, no, I did a YouTube poll and everyone liked it with real live gameplay, uh, so with real live commentary is what they liked, uh, so this is why the games are like this. Uh, went 2-2 two two today, beat Red Deck, lost Red Deck, lost to Teferi and beat another deck. The deck is pretty good guys, I, I really do like it, maybe put the extra Hydroid in. We needed to draw the Lightning Strike there, we had a couple of chances where we could have won that last game, but unfortunately going against the Rao, the Teferi, Fistful of cards with, with a control deck. It's always going to be hard. We needed to win a little bit quicker. But eh, we were very, very close. And we were potentially one card away. But one card away means you could be 100 cards away. Anyway, boys and girls, thanks for watching the video. Please leave a like and obviously subscribe if you're new to the channel. The next video of the week will be out this Tuesday. So I do videos Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. Work prevailing. I have got you know, a full-time job as well. So it makes it a little bit harder sometimes. But I do stick to that schedule and you see three videos a week. Anyway, you have a cracking rest of your weekend and I'll see you on the next video.